Until this point, our homestead experience was filled with dreams and hope. And our days were full of steps to make those dreams into a reality. Things were going good. So we were completely unprepared for what was about to happen. It's the side of homesteading that no one likes to talk about. And this week started like every other week. All right, so today's objective, we gotta go get some hay. And then once we get some hay for the cows, cause we're gonna have to keep them penned up a little bit longer than what I wanted to. Cause I can't do the fencing until we figure out what we're doing with the wood. Cause we got some guys that are interested in cutting the wood down for us, which is great. Except for, uh, I can't really do a lot of fencing when there's gonna be a lot of tree felling by uh, and machinery and stuff going on. So trying to figure out what to do with that. But in the meantime, they still need food. So we're gonna go get some hay from uh, a guy down the way and then- Cows are putting in some work. Clearing some uh, property for the new chicken coop. And there's lots of little evergreens in there. So these cows love to eat them. So it's a nice tasty snack and supplements their feed. Look at them just going at it. <laughs> they didn't think twice about it and they were on it. Says. Put it right at the tailgate there so it's easy to flip off once we get it to the property. Alright, so we just got back with a 1200 pound bale for these cows. Give them something to eat, keep them busy for a little bit. Now's the fun time to, or the fun part, where we've got to try and take it off. Business. Roll up, leave. There we go. There we go. Well, and, and he has a three-point hitch beer spell as well for now. Be careful though, because if you get a blade for your tr your tractor yeah. to do your driveway, yeah. you're gonna find yourself over here doing mine too. Oh, I know. <laughs> I already knew that. Hey cows. Hi Willow. Hi Willow. Fence is off. <laughs> Willows didn't know what to make of this. I knew they were going to pick at that. Yeah. yeah. Shut the fence off. Good girl, Willow. She's a good cow. They want to be feeding them hay all through summer. Yeah. Once we get the fence, perimeter fence up, then we can move them. Just all this is what it looked like in there. And they've eaten it all down. So now these guys have got uh, more food than they can handle for a little bit. Always there for a head scratch. Yeah, she loves the head scratch. Arr. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Your head is just covered in hay. Bon appetit. Dinner is served. Look how fat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait till she straightens <laughs> They just gorged themselves on this hay. Yeah. You know, sense when they're deficient in a mineral. Well, it's, hey. This is this is really good for him. He's usually not this receptive to. Uh, yeah, he likes that. He said he's a really nice looking little cow. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we got our new little cow harness, halter. We're gonna go attempt to mow the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Willow is going to be the most willing 
uh, participant, I believe. She's very friendly, very docile. <laughs> she shouldn't be any issue. I'm going to go turn the fence off. We'll take the cool days when they come. The fence is off? Yes. And there's Mabel, and there's Wallace. Let's, Let's play a game of Where's Willow? It's probably on the other side of the bale. Yeah. Or not. Where's Willow? Um... Where's Willow? Where's Willow? Willow! I think I spotted her. Just over here. <laughs> having Where's a nap. Kind of I was a little nervous there for a second. Willow! Willow! Sorry, ear move. What happened? Um. Yeah, she, she sometimes last night. Yeah. No wounds. Um. You know, if all their poop looks fine, like I haven't found any runny poop or anything, no idea. It turns out we were right to be worried when Willow didn't come to her name. We had really come to love Willow with her sweet and kind demeanor. We had so many plans for her. She was to be a pillar on our farm, and now she was just gone. To say that we were devastated that day would be an understatement, but we knew that we were signing up to these kind of days when we decided that we wanted to do homesteading, and we got to take the good days with the bad days, but this one hurt. He has cleared this forest right out. And on a farm, you can't just stop. Things still need to be taken care of, and projects still need to be done. But we had a couple of big decisions we had to make. So we called some friends, and they were able to drop everything and help us out to take care of Willow. We also had to make a tough decision about Mabel. And with what happened to Willow and not knowing if it was contagious or not, so we had to make the tough decision and arrangements to have Willow go and live with her owners. Yeah. He's a very friendly bull. Yeah, he's not aggressive. Even with us being out there with the cows every single day, sometimes twice a day, hands-on, brushing, uh, observing, interacting, it's really hard to accept that some things are just not in our control. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. oh. So you're looking at it, there, there's a few in here, but it is mostly just straw. Oh, I see. There's, there's not much here. So that's... There is some areas that has some, like in here. Oh, okay. But that's right at the center. Yeah. So all of this outside it's stuff... Just filler. There's very little um, material here other than like husk. So Rob went out today and got some higher quality hay. Um, once he opens it up, he can show us. The stuff was working for a time, but it's not very good. Apparently it's not very good hay. 
our mentor who came to check on the cows gave us the tip that the hay wasn't the best quality that we had sourced. And while we don't think that was a direct cause of Willow's passing, we just were frankly kind of scared. We didn't want to lose our bull as well. And we just wanted to start fresh with some really good quality hay. Yeah, I know you don't. Back up. Back up. Back up and then stop abruptly to try and get this. Oh, momentum? Up. Yeah. Okay. But I need you to stand over there. Out of the way. <laughs> so that A, you're out of the way, and B, to make sure that I don't run over. Stomp. Stomp. As devastated as we were, we were determined to learn from this experience. While not everything is in our control, we learned a lot about how to improve the things that are, and we determined that going forward, we were going to give Wallace the best life that he could possibly have on our farm. Rich. <laughs> Beautiful. scratch himself on that log. To so go into this, pull it out. You can see all the little leaves in here. Mm -hmm. And in here, like look at all the little stuff that's in here. So the smaller flaky particles. Yeah. Like it's more this. what you want. Less sticks. Less stick, more nutrients, not to mention there's no mold on either side of it. Whereas this one, the bottom looks pretty rough. Pretty brown, but I mean, yeah, that might even be moldy. On the inside though. A little bit of it doesn't really bother cows too much. The inside is good. What do you think of the new hay there, buddy? He likes it.